Hey, 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 hello. Imagine that you're in a situation where you have to put yourself forward, that you feel nervous, self-conscious, and um, not nice feelings, and might even feel fear of rejection. Ooh, the fear that we all like, right? <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and even being criticized. Okay, now that all feels terrible, very terrible, and even can freeze us up from taking steps. I know, guilty! <laughs> okay, no. <clears throat> we can pretend in this moment that we have that little comfortable or that courage to step outside our comfort zone. So let's imagine that. You have to step up and you might want to go like this, like I don't want anyone to notice us or see us or point at us. Look at her, did you see that? Like mm. well, we decided to face our fears and still do it. And we're going along. And we decided to have the courage and it feels uncomfortable. <laughs> that feeling in the stomach. Oh, and the anxiety goes up. It's like, this doesn't feel good. And we want to stop ourselves because it doesn't feel good. <clears throat> but we decide that we are safe and we are choosing to do this with the intention to face our fears, to face the discomfort. Yes, some people might judge and criticize, but that's on them. And then someone might feel this is pointless, and that's on them, and that they're entitled to have their opinion. They're entitled to their point of view. And we have to focus on the reasons why we are choosing to engage in this. And one of the reasons might be to have the confidence to face our fears, to have the confidence to step up, to have the confidence to do something for ourselves. Because when we gain that skill and we practice again and again, it will become easier, less worry, and then we can take more steps <clears throat> in order to gain something bigger, in order to gain and move us towards our goals and values. If you go somewhere and if you have the courage to approach someone, you're more likely to meet someone, you're more likely to engage in an activity, you're more likely to have some fun. Maybe you want, but not participating, then you gain nothing. Not going, you gain nothing. And sometimes it's a choice not to go. And that's okay, and that's a good choice. But when we're doing out of fear, we might not, my son, he avoids dogs because he's scared of them. Now where we live there's dogs everywhere. So if you don't start facing that fear a bit at the time and knowing how to deal with it, then you won't be leaving the house because there's dogs everywhere. Now there's many things where we all feel fear. <clears throat> there might be a real fear or an imaginary fear. A real fear we can take steps for safety. An imaginary fear we can also take steps so that we can overcome that. So imagine you go somewhere and you have to speak up. You can start with saying hello. And you can even acknowledge I'm feeling a bit self-conscious, I'm feeling a bit nervous. Or I'm feeling like a fish out of water. Or I'm feeling uncomfortable. And then it's not so that you buy the sympathy out of people. Perhaps you can put others at ease, at ease. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little bit anxious. So they don't take it so personal. That perhaps we might be a bit more abrupt, a bit more shy, a bit more dry. So that we don't put others off and they understand where we're coming from with our energy and our behavior. So it makes our life a little easier. And plus we're not trying to pretend to be what we are not feeling in the moment. I'm pretending to be fairly confident when I'm feeling I'm really not confident at all. <clears throat> and also 
to go with the expectation. Yes, yeah, some people might judge um, at the end. I can come on board with like, what's good, what's useful, what's beneficial, and then leave the rest. And look at it. Is there comments and views and judgment coming from a place of wanting to help or trying to be destructive? Are they feeling supportive or envy of? Or am I highlighting <coughs> something in their life that is not quite right? So, or maybe it's just not their cup of tea. Some people like rocket science, some people like knitting. And if you try to force each other's preference on someone else, it might not be well received. So just acknowledging that. But then there's the possibility that what you have to offer, what you have to give, might also be something that someone else is looking forward to receiving that, to having that, to spending that moment with you. Just because you go and approach or talk or say to someone and it might not be well received because it's not the time, not the place, not the interest. It might be totally rejected or criticised or put down. But then someone else is actually looking forward for what you have to offer, for what you have to say. So don't minimise and discount that. So we arrive, decide to say hi, we decide to acknowledge how we're feeling, if it's appropriate and needy. And we take breaths, deep, slow breaths, to help us connect. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we can tell our brain, this is the reason why I'm doing it. I'm doing this to face my fears. I'm doing this to gain this skill. I'm doing this because this is a step in the direction of my goals and wishes and dreams remind ourselves of the reasons behind our action so that we continue with our courage. Feeling courage is also feeling nervous and anxious and uncomfortable but taking that step anyway. So imagine we're gonna go with our talk or exercise or activity or even laughter Let's pretend that it is a laughter. So let's all say ho, 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 ho. And then we might be gauging the environment for approval or cooperation or coming on board. But more likely than not, we are scanning the environment for disapproval or judgment or disinterest. And we might be looking for the one person that doesn't care at all. But we're placing more value. And feeling terrible. Oh, that person doesn't approve. And that is the one person we want to perhaps impress. But that person doesn't even have eyes for us. We might even have the thoughts of, if this person, say family member, not even approve and see the value in this. What are my chances that I have to persuade someone else's? And then we hold us back with that fear. If I'm not accepted and approved by my very own, say, family or relative that you know better, that you have my best interest at heart, what's my chances that I have with a stranger? Let's remember, relatives and those that are close to us, they see and they want the best for us, they see the best in us, but they also often are focused on their needs, their preferences, and also they have their own view of the world. What we believe is a possibility for them might not be seen as a possibility at all what might be an ability for us, for them might not, but might be a struggle. 
what we might see as a solution for them might see as a problem. But let's remember we have to support ourselves, believe in ourselves. And, and part of that belief is focusing, why am I doing this? Is this in line with my values? Is this in line with the person I want to be? And then there must be someone out there that will be grateful to have this today. There must be one person out there and we can go with, I'm doing this for me. And if I get satisfaction out of it, at least it is one smile. And if I get another person, that is two smiles. And if something else or someone else or something good comes on board, that's three smiles. Then remind ourselves the reasons. Why do I want to do this? Why is this so important to me? So that we can have the courage to go through that challenge. And we can even talk to ourselves, stay calm, stay calm. This is just me feeling anxious. Stay calm. Yes, negativity and rejection and it's part of life, it's part of engaging in an activity. I accept it's not for everyone. But having that courage. And that courage comes with the practice of taking baby steps. Practice of our skill so that we feel our brain knows and also managing our emotions. Can I take a breath to calm down? I'm going to remind myself that I can do this. I can do this. I don't know, perhaps you want to. I wanted to go to a bar. <laughs> this was during the World Cup. I wanted to go to a bar. And the time the choice was to go alone. And I wanted to celebrate with others. I did. So, <clears throat> what I've noticed is that it feels uncomfortable when you think about the negatives. And uncomfortable is your rage. But once you're there, <sighs> and once you've taken the step, the satisfaction of taking that step, it feels so high. The adrenaline, the fact that everything went good and you took that step and you had that courage, is so rewarding. I'm not encouraging to put yourself at risk, okay? And take the step that is managed so you can manage the energy, the emotion, skill. But it's taking little baby steps so that we can feel more confident in the area or in the areas that we want to improve, that we want to work, that lead us towards our goals. So that we feel that we are showing up, that we feel that we are taking on life and living life. So if you were showing up to others and it's too much to just show up. You could just practice maybe just with one person. And then two. With the stakes that are lower. And then three. And then that can increase as we know our skill and practice our skill, as we know our stuff, as we are better, as we're getting better at regulating ourselves, as we are getting better at focusing on the reasons why we're doing it. You don't have to do big and go home, you can just do small, steady. Then notice the progress. Notice the progress as getting better at our, doing our stuff. Noticing the progress as managing ourselves better. Noticing the progress at focusing on our goals and wishes and preferences. And recognizing, yes, it's not for everyone taking in on board what's good and useful and then leaving the rest. 
and letting go. And if something truly fails, then at least we've tried and we gained some knowledge in what works, what does not work, what we can do differently in the future. But at least we tried. And we can bring all that tolerance can bring the tolerance for denials but also feel hopeful that eventually would lead to a an approved approval so show up do the best you can and then learn from it and then practice again so that we can gain the confidence and take baby steps. A baby does not walk when he's first born. It takes time to be all the strength to listen and using support and standing up and crawling. And eventually he walks and runs, but it does take time. So if something is really important for us the right reasons. We can also get there by learning our craft, by practicing and then exposing ourselves bit by bit. So what will you have the courage to do today so that you can have and build that confidence towards, towards your goals? Why are you going to work today? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> My days are already packed. No more. <laughs> no more. And then what could I work today to feel more confident? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just stepping outside my comfort zone. Not caring about feeling rejected. <laughs> not caring about feeling a failure okay remember one step at a time step by step bit by bit we'll get there <laughs> love my heart because just because we feel anxious and tense yes perhaps might be a big, bigger step than we can manage in the moment that's okay let's recognize and be realistic okay if this is too much Bring it down. Bring it down. What is the smallest possible manageable step that I can take where I can manage my anxious thoughts? Where I can manage my anxious feelings and my body? Remember when we learn how to drive and you feel so anxious going down a roundabout? you have learned to drive and then bit by bit the body starts relaxing you learn the skill and then it becomes easy and automatic we don't even think and so is the skill to pursuing our dreams and goals some things are for us some things are outside our reach fair enough but many things is more the fear of the mind rather than an inability and you need to overcome that fear of the mind. I can do it. I want to do it. I wish to do it. I hope that in time I'll have the courage to do it. And then building, going up those levels. From I don't believe it, I don't believe it, I can do it all. This is I can be I believe it. This is I don't believe it. Too much. The step is too high. Okay, the mountain is too high to climb. I don't believe could go into. I wish I could believe. And then it could be. I really. I want to believe. And then I really want to believe. Hopefully, I can believe. Or what could 
I learn and try. I'm going to practice what I've learned and tried. Now I'm just going to try that as an experiment in a smaller scale. But one. And then the next step. And then the next step. Then I'm going to do other things so I can feel confident. And take another baby step on getting out of my comfort zone. And I'm going to approach and observe my fears and deal with each one at a time. Then bit by bit we're getting closer and closer. And then one day we just do it. We don't even realise that we've done it. Because it just comes so naturally. Or sometimes we can just go with a leap of faith. And provided that we looked at the pros and cons. Now mid and long term. The positives and the negatives. What are the consequences? What are the losses and gains now, mid and long term, if I take this step, if I engage in this activity or this thing, if I do this? So provided that we don't go blindly in, okay, provided we've done that, we are aware of the consequences. What do I lose and what do I gain? What are the impact for me? and people that matter to me. If we've done that, what am I going to gain by engaging in this activity? And if you try to mitigate, what can I put in place to deal with the, perhaps the negative consequences? What sort of support do I need? What encouraging words do I need? Say so someone will judge and criticize. Can I give some DLC to myself? Can I ask someone to support me through that? Could I work on my values and my worth so that others rejecting me does not mean that I'm worthless? Others can reject me, can reject my ideas, can reject my values, but I still accept myself, I still love myself, and my worth is not dependent on someone else's acceptance. My worth is dependent on me being a human being, like everybody else is worth being accepted for who they are. Yes, behaviors might have positive and negatives and might, people might have preferences and we might learn and we might make mistakes but we can grow from those. But if you are picking goals that is in line with our values then We know the impact that they have on us and others. And we are being reasonable, healthy and balanced. Then there's likely there will be a benefit. It's likely that it's worth pursuing. And provided that the consequences are not negatively impacting others in a way that, are, that is unreasonable and unhealthy. Our consequences can have a little impact on others. But is it reasonable or unreasonable? Is it destroying or is it a temporary setback that will iron itself out and be okay? Are we totally responsible for other people? We are responsible for managing our thoughts and emotions and so there's other people for their own emotions and thoughts. So let's have the courage and confidence to take steps to work towards our goals. 
obviously take into account those that are affected <coughs> and what is reasonably unhealthy. So that is a win-win. <coughs> because we can have colds that we think that it's just egocentric. We just think about ourselves and no one else. It's not what I'm encouraging. And I'm also not encouraging those goals where we put our health at risk, our mental health at risk, our physical health. I'm not encouraging that. We have to find the mid road, the healthy balance. I'm also not encouraging those goals where we put, we compromise our relationships. We do everything at the cost of our health, physically, mentally, in our relationships. I'm not, in, not encouraging that. Just following our goals that makes us feel healthier, happier, and has a positive impact for us and others. Having that courage, baby, step at a time. It's a long road, but it's something to look forward to, and it also enjoying the steps on the way. Also enjoying the gains and the progress on the way. Also enjoying the journey. Don't just focus on the end bit. So the end you won't even it will take it for granted and there'll be other things to focus the mind on and other things that drawing your mind to so the little satisfaction of i did it i've managed to get out of my comfort zone i went for a different walk a different way different times <laughs> love rambling on my goodness there we go bye for now These feelings that we feel at the beginning. Just the body going into a panic mode and think, is this safe? But then if you recognize I am safe, I'm just doing this, this is the reason why I'm doing this. To gain the confidence, to gain the courage, to tell my brain that it can relax about this, so that I can have the skill, the knowledge, the practice that I need to take on the next baby step so that I can progress and continue towards my goals and wishes. <laughs>